Hi guys, my name is Blessing Korea and I'm a voiceover artist based in Nigeria. This is a list of five things I wish I knew when I started voice acting. Number one, having a beautiful voice is not all it takes to be a voiceover artist. I voice in English, Hausa and Pidgin, and it takes a lot more than being able to speak the language or having an accent to deliver. There's a lot of compartments, which is interpreting the roles, um, business, interacting with the clients and getting the job done. It's never about what you think should be done, but what the client's ultimate perception of what their project should sound like is. Number two, which honestly could go into number one because it's equally important so let's just say number one video or something is that learning never ends learning never ends you're always learning something new if it's about sound production or about voicing or about delivery styles or with every new project you have to learn a new thing even if it's just a new word you will be sure to learn something new being a voiceover artist so it's like new projects new life lessons and new challenges new hurdles that you have to overcome so just put it in mind you're never going to stop learning the third thing i wish i knew when i started voiceover is that there's a whole aspect called the business of voiceover yes you have a nice voice and yes you will gigs but there are negotiation deal closing elements that you have to put in place sometimes some negotiations may be short sometimes some negotiations may take longer than you expect but yes some of us also are empathetic and don't like confrontation so we'll just opt for the fastest price to end that conversation just like ah, money makes me uncomfortable i understand but if you're going to cash out or make money or intend to be in this game long term you have to stop setting yourself short the fourth thing i wish i learned when i started voiceover is the importance of vocal health most recently i lost my voice and it was due to strain induced on it and not taking care of my voice properly we keep talking about pushing your voice and learning adaptations or improving on the skill you have but it's also important to learn to take care of your health their teas their drinks their exercises do not neglect this don't just wake up from sleep and just jump into the booth and start talking for 10 hours or 12 hours straight it's not safe and in the long run it might affect your voice if your voice is your selling point or you're using to make money then please just as you take care of your skin and your physical health do take care of your voice because if it goes we all know how that goes. The fifth point and not the least, of course, saving the best for last is that always ask for the full scope of work or closest to the full scope of what will be needed in that project. So you don't take a job and then eventually you start to hear things like, ah, could you just add this and add this and add this? And before you know, the project just grows from being a tiny, tiny drop of project to something really large and you don't get financial compensation for it because you already signed off that you're going to work on this. And reviews and feedback are important. This is just a bonus point. Do try to keep cordial relationships. Even if projects don't go well, do try to end on cordial grounds. Because again, this industry, you don't know who knows who or where your project is going to get to. You don't know who is listening. And somebody may just drop your name without you even knowing it. So just try to be as kind as possible. I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. And if you did, do follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Blessing Korea. Do have a wonderful voiceover career. Bye-bye.